cups. The underlying energy is the Knight of Pentacles. This is your card, guys. So this is really interesting. This is about you. Your love life is focusing on you. And love is not just about relationships or romantic partnerships. This is about family and it's about self-love, right? Self-love is not even really considered to me a characterized or a character or um not a character, a category. However, I like to throw that in there to remind people that your love, how you feel about yourself, is just as important. Now the since the reading is about you now, okay, since this reading is about you, I do feel like this, you know, especially what we pulled earlier has a lot to do about what your heart's desire is or how to get to where you want to be. Um, and this is about, honestly, about you starting a um, new beginning. Now, the Knight of Pentacles does carry something with him. It's an offer of stability, but he takes his time. He takes it really slow, and he really hashes out the details. And it's a procrastinating energy to some extent. It's still progress, but it's procrastination because they want to be 100% sure that what they're getting into is something worth getting into. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm not saying you guys are procrastinating though. Okay, quickly, just clarify that. But I do want to say that there is some slow energy going on here. Um... Yeah, this is your card for you. This is about you. However, this is focusing on how um, uh, well, this is focusing on your work on what you find, what you view as valuable. Now, with the current state of being, you have strength. Now, strength is a nice card um, to some extent. I feel like you guys are going through a probably a difficult time, but you're also trying to um, trying to yeah going through a difficult time but you're also trying to rebuild some sort of confidence in yourself or put you know you reestablish a sort of confidence you're relying on yourself to get through a difficult situation and it's going to harbor a lot of your confidence your self-esteem some of you guys i feel like this is a good thing i feel like you guys are you know seeing the confidence in yourself you've seen that you can push yourself through situations you know push yourself through difficult situations and come out on top which is absolutely excellent i like that and if there's some of you guys that are struggling a little bit with your self-esteem look at how everything that you've been through because if you know if it wasn't for you going through those things and you carrying yourself out you wouldn't be here today right so the strength card is a, is a really good card, especially about your confidence and getting you through. Now I feel like what you guys want to what you guys want to be is the three of wands, which is talking about receiving the manifestation that you guys have been working hard for. Now the eight of the sorry the knight of pentacles is a very hard worker. You may be slow, you may be looking at details, but looking at details requires work. But he's also the student. He really studies. He really looks at it, and he really gives all well, the pages more study as the student. The knight of pentacles. He still does some sort of, you know, inspection, sort of, an observation, looking very closely and analyzing, but it's still hard work. He does other hard work. He's very practical in his, in his methods, but he's very hard working. So I feel like you guys have been really putting in the effort, especially with strength coming up, talking about excessive amounts of effort, and you guys are, you know, manifesting right now, and you guys are wanting to see the results of your manifestation come through, because there has been a lot of waiting going on, but the thing that's been keeping you guys from gaining the, you know, um, from getting to the three of wands is the devil. Now, the devil could be that either some old habits that come up, or some old ways of doing things, or old behaviors that are coming up, in regards to, you know, your, your ability to manifest, not in a bad way, but it's just kind of slowing you down a little bit, because this is slowing down energy. Progress is still being made. So, um, things are being slowed down, possibly because of some some, some behaviors that need to be changed, either with for you or for your partner. Now, I'm feeling like this may be for you and about how uh, the help that you give to people and how and you know where the intent comes from. If you're giving, if you're helping people because you want to help them, or you're helping people because you feel like they need the help rather than you just kind of take care of yourself. And that's totally okay to be, you know, to make sure to consider yourself first before helping others. That's what you have to do, right? Just like in the airplane, if you're in the airplane and those those masks come down, you have to give your masks. Put your mask on first before you give anybody else a mask, and that's even including a child. So I feel like there is a little bit of codependent things coming back up for you guys or coming for you guys um, in the sense of you making sure that you can take care of your responsibilities, that you take care of the things that you need to take care of for yourself to begin your, you know, to continue your manifestation before helping others. And that could be the slowing down process. And the reason why 
I say that's because the knight of is because of the queen of swords. She's usually the advisor, the helper. She's really good at helping people. Um, she really gives advice. She she gives good advice, and she gives people solutions. And um, she uses logic to get herself through. Right? She, she has the truth, and she utilizes it. Some of you guys, like I said, you guys could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, or somebody that knows their truth very very clearly. Um, and they're very good at communicating, and they're very intelligent. Like you know, like I said about the soap, uh, soap as uh, I can't even say the word now, uh, sapiosexual. Okay, but I do get to sense this could be you guys, right? You guys are the helper. You, know, you guys are you know seen as someone you know, as a person that people come to when they need help. And I feel like you may give in sometimes, and you may like give up some of your energy, some of your power to them for a second and send it slowing down your process, especially while you're doing something. And that can be a little bit of frustrating, right? Because if you're trying to build something and someone always comes to you for help and maybe they don't return the help or maybe they don't give the bounce back, but you don't really push them to do it because you can't, you know, you want to give out of, you know, the, the, you know, the openness and love of your heart. That's frustrating. So that's why the boundaries do need to come up in regards to how you help people. So the devil doesn't just codependency and bad behavior. And it's not bad behavior. It's just like behavior that may not help you. The devil does indicate boundaries and integrity. Now, now it may not be build some boundaries in regards to how you help people or who you help. Or this could be in regards to building boundaries on how you communicate on how you think. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of things that could be going on here. Now the advice is judgment. So there's a call to action here that's coming out. Now, who else had judgment? Judgment in the feelings as well. I feel like I believe it was Ge Gemini, um, which so is your um, pretty much your your sister uh, sister sign or not sister or brother sign or whatever. Uh, Someone that also accompanies the ruler sign that you have, which is Mercury. So you both are ruled by Mercury. So that's very interesting. But with judgment coming up as your advice. I do get the feeling here that is saying that there is a call to action. I feel like right now there is needs there needs to be a transformation of who you are, a rebirth of who you are, and it's establishing a certain element in yourself and making it known. Right. So this is the fierce rising from the ashes. So what has died, what has gone, is now rising up to be new. Is giving is another you coming up and that you has different boundaries different ways of doing things different ways of behaving and different ways of reacting or acting on things and i feel like this is a, one of those situations right especially when like i said when it comes to helping people how it comes to communication and how it comes to thinking for yourself okay because there's a lot of things about you in here that really they, you know the universe wants to push you towards yourself like what do you want what do you where do you want to get to be like, where do you want to be exactly where are you trying to get to and how can we help you get there and it's looking like you have to really focus on yourself and that's very important now what i love what i absolutely love is that in your feelings you guys have the queen of wands for a lot of you guys you guys can be dating an aries leo sagittarius or how i'm reading it is that you guys feel very very confident in yourself strength queen of wands totally two confident cards and they're very confident she is very confident in herself she's capable she's confident in her ability to manifest to get things done to get what she wants there's nothing ever that stands in her way she doesn't think about any sort of obstacles and if there was and if there is an obstacle in her way she will knock it down that is the attitude to have, especially when, you, when you're trying to manifest, you have that high vibration. So that's really good to see that with the Queen of Wands, you have a very high vibration. Um, now, with the Queen of Wands here too, I feel like you guys, you know, are not taking crap anymore. And I feel like the, the thing is that you may have, you may, you may be dealing with some individuals that are close to you, especially when it comes to love, it's very a tender spot, so it's hard to say no to individuals. So I feel like right now, it's about saying no. That's why this is the Four of Cups and the Hermit. Because you're trying to figure out the answer for yourself in regards to an offer that you may not really want to, or may, may not really want, or some sort of suggestion. Especially someone that's reaching out for help and they are coming from a, you know, like need you or they love you and you know them and you love them and you're not necessarily ready to do that because you're working on yourself. That's a hard thing. But your hopes and fears, you have the Page of Cups. You want to express yourself. You want to express your, uh, your emotions. You want to feel open to communicating how you're how you're feeling what your heart's desire is and i feel like you want to focus on that too um you know what it is that you want i feel like or you want to you, you hope to gain what you want and i feel like you will uh, for some of you guys you may want to offer love um you may want to express an offer of love like i was saying here this is definitely hand in hand with the communication thing 
So that's a hard one, right? But I feel like you guys can definitely do it with this confidence that you have here, feeling and you know determined and ready to do whatever you want to do, and confident in your ability to do it. The page of cups can definitely happen either on your part. Um, you can't make someone else talk to you, so it mostly has to be coming from you with the page of wands if it's talking about any sort of offer or communication of um, of love or emotions. Now, in your outcome, you have the eight of cups. Eight of Cups is talking about seeing a situation and just saying no. That's it. Nope, I'm not doing it. Nah. That's the not nah card. I like it. I love it. The not nah card. All right. And I and that's where it leads to right. Someone coming to you for help. You can't necessarily. You don't really want to help them right now. Not because you're mean. Not because you're selfish. I mean, nothing wrong with being selfish. You know what I'm saying? But you are trying to build yourself, you're trying to get to a certain place in your life, you're trying to build your relationship to a strong point, and you want to feel good about yourself, you want to build your self-esteem, and they're coming to you and bringing you down a little bit because they are slowing your progress of developing yourself because they need help. Nah, you can't do it right now. That's totally fine, and it's totally acceptable. You can't, you don't have to help everybody, and it's totally acceptable. And it comes to seeing the situation, seeing the offer, and going, you know, this is, you know, this is cool, but I, I, I don't, I'm not satisfied with, with what I'm seeing, so I'm going to go and find what I truly want. I'm going to go out and go find what, I, what it is that makes me happy. So that's, again, the determination, seeing the confidence here that's, you know, it's potential to happen, right? To really see the situation go, no, I don't think I'm wanting to do this. However, I will find another way. Now, for a lot of you guys, if this is talking about a relationship for you guys, this isn't talking about a breakup. This is talking about you finding a different solution to a certain problem or situation to resolve a certain issue. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will break up. It can, but it does not mean that it will happen. And it doesn't mean that's what you choose. It just means that you're finding a different option. So, with all that said, let me go ahead and pull you guys a whispers of... Oh, wisdom of the oracle, rather. Okay, and you guys, um, I don't know. You guys have a string of jet gifts, but that was a pretty bad shuffle. I'm going to really shuffle for real. And if it comes out again, it's a lot of cards. Too many. If it comes out again, then we're going to keep it. If you're meant to fall out, then you will come out again. Other than that, we're not going to trust that one because that was a really bad shuffle on my part. Wow, serendipity comes out. Wow, serendipity. So let's talk about a change of luck. Change of luck. And uh, and for the better, too. That's a good thing. So serendipity is all about, you know, just going with what you know and allowing the universe to just kind of carry you through. This is a change. This is a change. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, it's just totally cool for you to just, you know, do what you feel like you need to do because you have luck on your side right now. It's totally awesome. Absolutely fine. Okay. Now for your whispers of love. Let me go ahead and pull that for you as well. Okay, and you guys have, wow, physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is a very physical energy. Pentacles energy, anyway, is very physical. It talks, it's earth. So, you will, it's tangible. It's something that you could touch. So, it, this whole situation could be about intimacy. You have the devil here. This can mean sex. And then you have communication. This is about, you know, knowledge. Passion, which is the strength card. This is lust and, you know, intimacy. Craving to be intimate with someone. Wands, feeling very passionate. So, a lot of the situation could very well have a lot to do with having a intimate relationship or intimate communication or contact with somebody that you love. Um, and having the confidence to do so. And I feel like you guys are 
very passionate right now. You guys are very focused on what it is that you guys want to do. But it's just about, I feel like this individual maybe that you really want to connect with in a very um, intimate way, it's just kind of hard to do. But you have a change of luck. Things are going to be shaping up. And I feel like it's all about communicating. It's about having that passion there, expressing your passion, which is very important because that's what the Queen of Pen, the Queen of Wands does, expressing herself in the way of communication. Now, if you guys are in a distance, the thing that may be difficult about it is that physical touch is very important, right? However, you don't need to touch each other to have an experience together, okay? It's about communicating. That's the hard one. Right? It's communication, it's technology, but you can do it and it can be just as close. Maybe not as close to you, but it is something that can be experienced for the both of you. It just has to be done in different ways and different fashions and different ideas. And I feel like you guys can definitely do that for those of you that are having, you know, trying to get intimate with your partner. Okay? So if, even if it's not intimacy, what the, f the physical touch can mean is that, you know, the kids mean literally trying to progress in a very physical way, right? To try to grow in a physical way, or grow in a very emotional way that can, you know, perform in its, you know, in the physical. You know what I mean? Confidence. When you manifest from a confident place, you will be able to manifest much more efficiently. Okay, so it's about you know having feeling good about who you are, so it can truly be, come out in a, in a physical in a physical form.